Are you looking to move to Southern Maryland but wondering what the housing market is doing right now? Watch this video and I'm going to give you a great update on what the housing market do is doing in June 2022. All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Scow with eXp Realty here in Southern Maryland. If this is your first time on the channel, we love to help people uh, move to Southern Maryland and be informed of making decisions about moving to Southern Maryland. So if you have any questions or need any help, make sure you use that contact information below. Call me, text me, reach out, whatever, and I'd be happy to help you. You can also scroll down to the first comment, click on that little link and it will schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me that we can talk about your home buying or home selling needs in Southern Maryland. And last but not least, if this content's helpful, you can click the subscribe button, click the bell so you're notified every time we put out new content about moving to Southern Maryland. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an update on the June update on the housing market in 2022. Um, I'm going to start kind of on the national level like I always do, go down to the Southern Maryland level and what it kind of looks like, and then kind of talk about my takeaways from it and how we're going to see it um, affect us over the next few months. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I love using Redfin to start with. So the first article we're going to really go over and what it's really going to talk about um, that I think is super interesting is what's happening to this market right now. Now, if you haven't before, um, you can see that I've talked about the housing market a bunch in different market updates. And one of the things I've talked about is there's starting to be an increase in the amount of houses that had price drops. Now, a few months ago, it was kind of the question of whether or not it was an anomaly and we're just seeing this, but on a national level, more and more houses are seeing those price drops. Um, that's not saying there's a crash. That's not saying there's a bubble. What it is saying is there's less demand for these supplies that we have. All right, so going over this article, the first thing you notice right here on this headline is nearly one in five sellers is dropping their price, the highest rate since October 2019. Now, that is before this really hot market fueled by, you know, the, the low demand or the low supply and the high demand really started kicking off. So this is a big number that Redfin is seeing. Now, kind of going deeper into the article, you can see that a lot of those metrics we always talk about are still continue, continuing in a downward trend. Less people are searching for homes for sale on Google. Now, also the seasonally adjusted Redfin home buyer demand index, which is a pretty valid index, was down 12% over the year, year over year. So, and yes, last year there was a ton of demand. So this 12% is probably getting down closer to where um, demand normally is, but still it's showing that from that peak, from that bubble, we're starting to see that demand decrease. And we can also see right here, obviously mortgage purchase applications being down uh, from year over year is a big deal too, because again, it's just showing that demand is going down. It's softening. Now, what I will say is, now that's not to say this is all of a sudden a buyer's market. I've talked about this a bunch. We're still seeing the rising home prices. Um, they're still up 16% on a national level. Um, you know, there's just still a limited amount of supply, but there is still, and there's still a lot of demand. Um, instead of like I've talked about before, instead of 10 to 15 people bidding on a house, there's something like three to four, but that's enough to still drive that housing or those home prices over historical average and also, of course, over their own list price. So we're still seeing that sales price be high just because there is still demand, but it definitely 100%, I can say for sure now after a few months of kind of saying it might be, it might not be, the demand is softening 100%. Uh, we're seeing that demand soften. And one of the biggest drivers of demand softening right now is definitely this right here, the fact that monthly mortgage payments have risen, especially in that beginning of January 2022 and all the way up until now. And if you look here from this time last year, mortgage payments are up 42%. That price is a lot of people out of this market and it just makes it so by default, demand is going to drop. Now, with, with real estate and with any kind of market, unless there's a huge, huge crash for some reason, it's kind of a slowly moving ship. 
it, we're starting to see the corrections happen now, even though the interest rate spiked earlier, we're just going to keep seeing those corrections and that demand just continue to level off and that supply just continue to kind of meet that demand and it should be a balanced market and maybe an even level or playing field uh, for a lot of people that are buyers um, in this current market. All right, and so what we're kind of seeing now, and here's some other stuff I want to just point out. Like while we're still seeing that 57% of homes are selling above list price, we're starting to see that level off. It looked like it was going to keep going, and it actually leveled off a little bit earlier than the previous year. So that's something to really watch there too. I do start think I do think we're going to start seeing those that metric kind of drop off, and this is a big one right here. This is huge. Look how much of the listings compared to previous years have had price drops. Now I'm not 100% sure. It could be the sellers getting out ahead of the market and really trying to like, you know, catch the upswing in the market and pricing it too high to begin with, but I also think that a lot of sellers are starting to see that there's just limited demand um, out there compared to previously. And this right here, this is what they were talking about in the headline. If you look, this is one of the biggest spikes of price decreases that Redfin has seen since they started keeping this data. Now there was, um, of course, a lot of data back here before 2015, but this is a pretty relevant time to look. Besides 2019, this is a huge, huge drop. So interesting to watch for sure. And then this last, the last one I wanna talk about right here is this Redfin Home Demand Buyer Demand in Index. Um, if you look, you can see that the demand is definitely starting to fall down. 2020, um, 2021, it was kind of a steady demand throughout the year, and you can definitely see right here, this drop, it almost, I mean, it's not as bad as the one that happened right around COVID, but it almost is, is mirroring that kind of drop, where it's just kind of a sharp drop, and it's starting in that April time frame, right when the mortgage rates really started um, accelerating at the pace they were increasing. We started seeing those, you know, quotes of 475 and 5%, so... Um, all right, so that's that national information I was talking about. Let's kind of break it down to local market real quick because as we've always talked about, real estate is hyper-local. So um, a lot of the places that are gonna see the biggest decreases are the places that increase the most. You know, those hot markets that a lot of people have heard of with Austin, Texas and you know, out in Oregon and all those places that just seen some um, unreal increases are probably gonna see more of these price decreases. Now. Breaking it down to the Southern Maryland market, I'm not seeing, um, I, I'm, I'm seeing less demand. I'm definitely seeing, um, you know, less people reach out as a buyer's agent to me compared to other, you know, times in this year. But for the most part, there's still a lot of competition on these houses. We're still making multiple offers with our offers not getting accepted. And honestly, I was going through some of my data and stuff like that we get from our local realtor association. And what struck me about Southern Maryland, Charles County, St. Mary's County, and Calvert County is the lack of new homes being built and the increase, the projected increase of population coming into Southern Maryland. So just, you know, kind of myself looking at the situation, I still see a limited amount of supplies of existing homes. I know more people are moving to this area based on studies that Charles County has done and based on studies that St. Mary's County has done. And I'm concerned that our supply is not gonna be able to keep up with that future demand unless more houses are rebuilt. And I've read somewhere that it's almost 86% less housing starts, less new construction in St. Mary's County year over year. So there is a big kind of, I think, um, headwind for for buyers right now because i think in southern maryland the demand is going to keep being high and the supply is going to keep being low because we're not putting out new construction out there now that being said you know i don't see it going back to the way it was um, in 2021 and early 2022, but I don't think it's going to ease up and be this like really great buyer's market anytime soon. And all these people that are screaming, hey, the housing market's going to crash. Hey, this, hey, that. Now, I'm not going to say that something catastrophic could hap couldn't happen and we're not going to see a crash. But right now, since we don't have enough supply and we still have lots of demand, we're not going to see a crash. A crash happens when there's an oversupply of stuff and nobody wants to buy. We would have to get a ton of new houses plus a ton of existing houses on our market before we could ever see a crash. 
And I don't see that happening anytime soon. So what does this mean for you? And I feel like I'm a broken record because every single month I've been doing these, the same thing I say is, you know, it's getting less competitive. Um, you might have a chance to, to get a house um, a lot easier now, and it is getting easier. Instead of, you know, houses going in two days maybe, and sometimes even before they're officially listed, now you're getting four or five, six, seven, eight days to see them. Um, you know, you're getting a chance to make offers with, um, you know, three or four other people instead of five to 10 other people. So it is getting better for buyers. Um, it's continuing to be a great market for sellers. But for you, the person looking to move to Southern Maryland, I think my biggest takeaway is, you know, it shouldn't be as bad as it has been when you're making an offer. What I can recommend 100% is, you know, work with a knowledgeable realtor, get in the area and know exactly where, where you want to be. And when you find the house you want, don't wait, have that pre-approval letter and make that offer and go forward because, you know, with mortgage rates, with competition, with all this other stuff, you got to move quick. You want to make sure you get the best deal for you when you're moving down here. All right, so hopefully this information, this market update was helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, go ahead, use that contact information below, reach out to me, or you can go ahead and scroll down to the first comment, click the link, and I'd be happy to have that Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with you. And last but not least, if this content was helpful, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every time we put out new content. See you on the next video. Thank you.